update now on a stabbing that happened earlier this month involving a father and son. We've learned the details about what happened October 8th leading to the death of a 10-year-old. Fox 55's Gentil Mill has more. William Sendelbeck will not face trial for killing his 10-year-old son, Caden. Indiana State Police say the 32-year-old man died Saturday after he was shot by Wabash Police during a shootout at his home on October 8th. There were a lot of moving parts as it related to a shooting of police officers to a stabbing of a 10-year-old boy. And also, uh, William Sendelbeck is alleged to have shot at a... Uh, waste management or a trash truck uh, as it was conducting its rounds that morning and also having shot at an empty uh, vehicle which was owned by one of his neighbors. Investigators say Sarah Sendelbeck found her son stabbed in the head. She and her other children ran to a neighbor's apartment where they called police. Officers say Sendelbeck fired at them when they arrived, hitting Sergeant Nick Brubaker in the leg. Officers returned fire on that day and we believe uh, on Saturday, um, William Sindelbach did die from injuries sustained from gunfire from the Wabash Police Department. Now that he's dead, police say the investigation is closed, but they are still working with the family. With William Sindelbach's death, uh, that part of the uh, situation is over. And uh, again, our focus now goes to his family and hoping uh, the Wabash County community wraps their arms around that family because they've suffered a lot of tragedy in just a short amount of time. In Wabash, Gentil Nil Fox 55 News. Police say the injured officer has recovered. At today's press conference, Sergeant Slocum says prosecuting attorney William Hartley says police did the right thing in protecting themselves.